Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. Right, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're at the Georgia Gun Club's 100 yard indoor rifle range, and today I'm expanding on a previous load at 26.2 grains of CFE 223 powder with a 73 grain ELD match bullet. I had previously seen that the maximum charge weight, according to the Hornady manual, is 24.9 grains, and then discovered load data on the Hodgson website, which increased that maximum charge weight to 26.2. So I shot that target, there's a picture shown here, and I did have a standard deviation in the single digits on that particular target, although it didn't group especially well. Uh, it was over an inch and a half group size, but we did have a standard deviation in the single digits. And according to Mr. Cortina, CD depth can tune any load. CD depth will tune any load. So we're going with this 26.2 grains and the low standard deviation, and we're doing seating depth. So I'm starting with the seating depth at 20 thousandths off of the rifling, and I'm going in 3 thousandth step increments to 53 thousandths off of the rifling. So we're going to see if we can find a load in here somewhere that will work and see if Mr. Cortina is correct, and we will get back to you shortly with the results. As always, you can enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting or you can skip forward to the results that follow, shooting at 100 yards. All right, we had one group that shot pretty well, so let's bring them in and take a look. Most of the primers appeared to be somewhat flattened. I don't see any ejector marks. I had one kind of a hard bolt lift, but I think these are all okay. This is the max load, but... Um, Anyway, let's see here. I had one failure to fire here. This looks okay, okay, okay for two shots. This was my best group of all at 35 thousandths off of the rifling. We had three touching, but the one following right after that, that's at least an inch, maybe just over, maybe 1.1 inches. A little spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. Anyway, interesting how these shot, but we will take these home, measure them, analyze them. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back from the range and I've got my results. As mentioned, we're working with 26.2 grains of powder here because in a previous test, we found that we had a standard deviation of 8.8 .8 feet per second. Even though we had a group size of 1.94, we do have four clustered together here pretty well with one flyer off to the side. But they say that you want to look for that standard deviation first and then work from there. So what I've done here is I have loaded rounds from 20 thousandths off of the rifling to 53 thousandths. And we're going in 3 thousandths inch increments between each group. And so what we found here is we found a load at 35 thousandths that gave us a 0.22 inch group. And then over here, target number two at 23 thousandths off, we had a 0.38 group. And then at target number three, we were 26 thousandths off and we had a 0.47 group. So this could be a node right here because we've got two tight groups together. And here, 
at 35 thousandths, we have one really tight group. But the problem is the next group right after that is 1.08 inches. It did not group well at all. Now, the other thing is that when I was chronographing these, I did not chronograph each group individually. I just chronographed the entire target because they're all shot at the same target weight. Uh, and I'm sure that was probably a mistake. I probably should have chronographed these individually. But when you look at all of these as a group, we had a standard deviation of 22.6. Not the 8.8 .8 that we had before, but not terribly bad either. So this may be something that we can work with. So I'm going to maybe do some 10 shot groups here at this 35 thousandths off and maybe here between the 38 and the 47 thousandths off. So uh, we will do some additional load development and we'll see if we can zero in on a node here or here and see if we can get these groups to tighten up a little bit. All right, so those are my results. There will be a follow up on this, so stay tuned. I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any ideas, thoughts, comments, suggestions, questions, please leave those in the comments below. I try to interact with everybody that comments. I hope you will also like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.